Hello everybody, this is Ryan's Washer Videos, and today I am back with this washing machine, including I just wanted to show you, since uh, if you guys have, if you guys still have the one with the 2015 model on your other machines, if, including if you got your Whirlpool Duet or original Whirlpool Load and Go machine, or including if you got your Maytag, Original Maytag commercial technology, or if you have your Maytag Maxima washing machine, this is basically made on Whirlpool, which is precisely a same model around the tub, including I did recognize the old model of the older Whirlpools, which is basically a shape, which is a uh, no circle at the middle. Which is basically, there's the tumbler, it has three tumblers to tumble the clothes pretty well. Precisely, it tumbles really well. So precisely, it still has same, probably a same seal boot, like, every time I need to keep the door open after it's been used so it doesn't get mold on that washer. So, anyways... If you guys have the uh, Whirlpool or Maytag or Amana washers, if it is the front loader model, then it's actually your Whirlpool machines, including if you got your uh, Whirlpool model, you got your buttons, it's just like the older, I mean the 2015 model of the Whirlpool Cabrio top loader, and... It's just like, it's like how to wash, or wet washing, whatever, it's just, it has a, has a each other settings, including everything, including extra power, yeah, if you guys have the, uh, Maytag, then you got your knob model, including if you got your thing on the middle, you got your extra power, runs on hot water and cold water during the wash, and then after when it spins it goes on wash cycle so and the model number on this machine MHW5630HW which is I'm gonna cut down on two which is this is the not not pretty a secret model on this machine but this is model for this machine if you guys have the uh, Exact control panel, which is actually a 10 cycles. This is the uh, 50 60. No, actually, it's 50 30 56 30 model on that panel. Or including if you got your more cycles on it, it's uh, MHW 6630 HW or HC. Including if you have your HW machine, then you got your white model on your appliance, and including if you got your HC model. The appliance is actually looks like about stainless steel thing, but this is actually a uh, appliance which is not basically stainless steel. It's actually magnet spots. So, and you got your door for this, including if you recognize that door since around Maytag. 2015 model if you got your Maytag original or if you have Maxima washers so this is the plastic or if you have your glass door this is pretty simple including you got your door switch for locking the door during the cycle or including you got to close the door for the safety so the children doesn't open up while it's locked or including if it shows lock on this machine it actually let me show you something since if I press start while the door is open it won't start while the door is open including if I show you this is the lock indicator this is it it shows it indicates someone and lets anyone know the door is locked so they didn't so they don't open the door during the cycle so, so if you close the door, you have to hold start, three, two, one. So that means your machine will start the cycle as long as you hold this for three seconds, so it will definitely start. 
So don't press it, don't press it, or otherwise the machine will not start. Or including if you guys are curious if you have a child lock on this machine. That's what it helps, it won't start. Including if you guys have trouble starting this machine, which is powering on while the child lock. It won't power it on, which is... That means if, it's, if it says lock, that means it still has control lock. So the way to unlock it, press and hold control lock, it'll count down 3, 2, 1. And then the panel is unlocked. So you're free to use the wash cycle anytime. And including, I'll show you the dryer, which is actually a, basically a matching set, which is not, not actually a pedestal. Which is my dad installed the wood thing to let the machine stand so they can reach everything instead of below. So, so here's the dryer, which is basically a whirlpool as well. So you got your cycles, which is actually the uh, ten cycles, the same thing, including you got your different thing on your control panel, and the uh, door is the same thing as. May tag the old model as Whirlpool machines. So, and here's the dryer, has a heating element, has the uh, tumbler to tumble the clothes dry in, in the dryer so it keeps damping and then starting to cool down and perfectly dry. So, here's your actual lint from the clothes to suck the lint off of it, including hairs. Fluffy things or whatever it helps and it has energy star and I would have think about energy star supposed to be on this machine but I believe this is I believe those both of them are energy star or this machine if they don't have the uh, energy star model this is the energy star model on the dryer model number right here MED 5630HW and here's your drum, which is actually, if you turn strongly, then it'll turn, like, movements. So, you got your, uh, same startup noise. Including if you got your machine, if you have an end of cycle, that means it has a chime. Has this tone. If you guys recognize whenever tone has Maytag Bravos, and whatever. You know, including the Whirlpool Cabrios and everything. So, yeah, this, this machine does use the chime, including the dryer. It does play its different tone after when it's dry, when it's done drying the clothes. So, of course, you got your extra power on this too, including if you got your Whirlpool machines, which is a front loader. You got your buttons and everything, which is you got your same control minutes so that remains time for anyone to let them know what time does the cycle so how much time was this so so that's going to be coming next until the washer so which is i'll show you just in time alrighty so first off there's your uh washing machine that I wanted to show you how does it work since if you guys never hear this washing machine working before if you guys don't have this machine yet or until it, the uh, stock will be running out because the warranty will be around it soon which is basically this is the uh, 10 year warranty washer 10 year limited parts warranty has direct drive motor wash basket and this is the wash bas basket right here which is you got your stainless steel top which is made on metal to keep the clothes clean including the boot helps the water keep safe so it doesn't leak all over the door including this glass helps to keep the water still so it doesn't leak from of it or including if it does drip after it's done or if it's still wet then it might be fine or if you wanted to dry it then you can use the paper towels or use towels or anything so 
The door does lock pretty well, including I wanted to show you how does the problem going on in this machine, which is uh, diagnostic mode. So to go into diagnostic mode, then when your control panel is off pretty long time, uh, when it's not in use yet, then you must power it on to warm up the uh, control panel. So making sure it's working. Has 12 hour fresh spin, including you got your cycle signal settings, including you got your delay start, which is basically an eight hour delay start to let the uh, close wait for its wash cycle. So after you got this set, leave the door closed until it's starting the wash cycle. Or including if you want it, if you actually open a door, the uh, control panel resets. So it will never continue the delay start. So anyways, since fighting was off minded, then power this machine on when this control panel is off pretty long ago. You have to warm it up and then you shut it off. And then after you got this control panel off, here's what I basically know about the YouTubers that they did the one with the model around the uh, 2015 model on the Maytag machines or Whirlpool machines. I see they put on temperature, spin, and soil three times to get, the, to get this going on. Like after pressing it three times, the whole thing lit up and then after it's been lit up and then press spin and then the LED start will flash and then you press start to start the uh, diagnostic mode. Well, this is actually a different ways, but it doesn't do that, but including if it does show itself like C number, that means where the test instruction was at. So, and again, still warming up the control panel. And let me show you how it works if you guys have the Whirlpool or the Wash or the Maytag machines, which is the 2019 model that I've never showed you yet. Which is basically, it's just like the same as the uh, Whirlpool washers. So, if you guys know how to do it, that's great. Including if you guys didn't know how to do diagnostic mode, let me show you. You have to press temperature, spin, soil three times to get this going on. So, temperature, spin, soil, temperature, spin, soil three times. So it doesn't get confused every time. So let's try again. I never pressed it too hard. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Your whole washer panel is lit up. Including this machine is supposed to be on like all eights. But this uh, machine will display to make sure everything's all right, including this is uh, doing the false code right here, which is the error code. As, as you can see, you see the F5 and E2. That means you got your uh, door switch problem. Well, door locks actually, it's actually locking doors fine, so it doesn't have no problems at all. So of course, so after you got this going on, if you want to go on to test mode. Go on spin. We're including if you press temperature. This is what you got. I mean the whole control panel lit up. So pretty much soil doesn't help every time. So so here's your washer lit up the whole thing, including if you got your extra power lit up right here. This is actually glowing as well. Oh yeah. I can barely see the bright thing is including the spot down this way and everything yeah so you press any buttons the indicator will display including this is glitching because the uh, control lock supposed to be like it indicates if it's actually selected 
then if you press it, that means there's the key for the child who won't do anything in this machine. So anyways, let's just uh, go into test mode and we'll try again. So to try again, after you turn off the control panel, press temperature, spin, soil three times again. If you have trouble going on a test mode. And there you go, again. And the error code's still there, which is, but still don't worry about the error codes because the door, so yeah. To go on to diagnostic mode, press spin and you got your uh, indicator for the instruction when was the test on this machine going on so here's the hints on this number right here so number one is you got your water test which is actually well, maybe about cold water around the uh, dispenser drawer which is basically this is the uh, dispenser which is actually the uh, detergent and you got your liquid and powder switch right here. This is your bleach and extra power. And here's the softener dispenser during the rinse cycle. So after you got this set, and then you after you press spin, this is your test right here, including if you want to move on to a next test. Press soil, it'll increase the number, or including if you want to go back to the test, press temperature to go back. So the number will decrease, or including if you press temperature, it won't let you come back. Including, you really want to manually put this on number uh, 12, where after you press soil when it's on 12, it'll go back to number 1. So, the hint was, number 1 is from water temperature test, where including it has, where actually the uh, cold water dispenses. This is your cold water test. So soil next up is you got your uh, bleach dispensers, which is actually it dispenses exactly. Or if your clothes have non-chlorine bleach, then don't add the bleach. Or including if it is bleachable, then you can put the bleach. Or including if you got your Clorox or Great Value bleach right here. Yeah, it's not in use right now. Anyways, number two is from the bleach dispenser, which is still basically a cold water. So, and number three is for the hot water from this dispenser. And number four is you got your drain test, which is actually a drain pump, which is, as you can see, basically it does have the uh, drain holes to let the water come down through in the drain pipe to let the water go down during the spin cycle so if you got your uh, drain pipe right here you have to hook it up properly so the water doesn't drain on the floor leaking everywhere or unless your house will be flooded it will be a most baddest idea around your house where electricity will never work again so I want to make sure if you hook it up properly, when there's no leak, then it's in properly and in, or including you got your, uh, right here, this is your temperature hoses that you want to make sure the, uh, water is down properly so it doesn't leak. So if you want to get your new faucet hose or anything then you really want to get a new one so it doesn't leak everywhere so number four was the drain test and number five right here is your recirculator test which is i'll show you this is actually after when it's during the wash cycle or rinse cycle this is focus here this is your actual recirculator pump to uh pour it down or close to get them all wet it doesn't it doesn't actually fill the water then around the recirculator it actually sucks the water down to recirculator and then the water goes down to pour it I mean to pour the clothes wet 
So I make sure it's everything wet, including it'll tumble pretty well. So, some of the people think this is the uh, lights, but this is the recirculator pump helps to uh, pour the clothes down for wet during the cycle. So, so number five is recirculator pump. Number six is from pause. That means your whole machine pauses here, including if you sit here long, the control panel automatically turns off. So, let's close the dispenser drawer. And number seven is from spin test. Well, it, it, it actually kicks the drain first, and then it will go ahead and reach up on speed, which is not actually a full speed, which is actually almost about like. 900 rpms it actually runs around 850 or 870 or 60 rpms so during the whole the full spin cycle around normal cycle is 1160 so it actually runs the actual full speed to get the uh, clothes all dry so number eight is you you got your dis you got your uh, dispenser again, which is actually f fills the cold water a little bit, and then it stops. Maybe just sit in here and pause. And I just wanted to tell you secretly, since if you go on 9 to 11, this is number 9, which is actually a pause. 10 is pause. 11 is pause. And number 12 doesn't seem to be... Uh, pausing as well so I actually test the whole machine when it's on diagnostic like 1 to 7 so after you got every test going on or including if you press soil when while well, number 12 then I did tell you guys this is they go back to number 1 so anyways so I'm turning the flashlight off, which is I wanted to show you, which is that other flashlight right here. And so after, if you want to go ahead and start the test, here's the start button. So I'll press the start. And it locks the door. And the drain is actually engaging to make sure the water is out of it. Because there's a little bit of left water in this machine. Alright. So now... It's on number one, test mode, which is actually a first test right here, which is you basically got your dispenser drawer. So when it's dispensing, when you feel the temperature for real seconds, it does run cold water, then the fill, and next test, Number two is the bleach. Right here, we got the water and bleach. And number three is go back to the uh, dispenser, which is actually a detergent dispenser, and it switches the temperature exactly. So here it is. You got your hot water to uh, prevent your clothes stain. So, so now number four is uh, drain water to make sure the water is pumping down properly. So if you have your clogged drain uh, drain, drain pump, that might be the filter. So when the water is draining down, you can hear the you can hear the uh, drain pipe is gurgling. Or including if I wanted to show you the recirculator pump, which is you go back to the uh, number one. So 
sorry about the drain pump, this is taking a little while. Still making sure the water's draining down properly. So it's filling another water. Including there's a little bit of a dirty, there's a bit of a dirty spot on this tub, so don't worry. So as you can see, the water does travel down through the tub. And you can see the, uh, water is, water is increasing to its level, filling up. So you don't really want to overfill it or otherwise the machine will never go into its cycle. It'll make sure, or including if you have your longest drain, then it'll display its error code. But it's actually the E1 and F9 error code. So now that I was filling up the uh, water, then we'll go on to number five, and then you'll see the recirculator pump is working. Alright, so number five is recirculator pump test. And here's what you have. Recirculator pumps to help helps to uh, pour the clothes down wet. And it doesn't actually fill more water in it. It actually sucks the water from the recirculator and then pours down the left water down the tub. So make sure not to waste water on this machine. Alright, so that was the recirculator. So, number six is pause. That means... That means it sits here during the pause. So, that's the recirculator. And number seven is the drain. Again, and then... After when it drains the water down and it, it exactly goes to its spin to rev up without the drain kicking in until the speed is revved onto its speed. Alright, so here we go. And again, draining pipe down here. If you hear the water gurgling, that means the water is traveling through the drain down here. When it's drained out properly, then yeah, as you can notice that number is flashing, that means it's on test mode. Alright, the drain automatically goes for it and then you can see the tub is rotating. So, so it's, uh, it actually tests the, uh, the uh, wash basket or the tub who's actually spinning that means if you guys have a direct drive motor this is what you have this is what you got your rotor test to make sure the direct drive is properly working so it actually drain so it actually spins to uh tumble the clothes and then spins the clothes and everything out of it If you guys didn't hear the direct drive making the greatest noise, then I'll let you hear it because I just wanted to let you hear how it's working. So, here we go.
so now as you can see those tub spins properly to spin the clothes dry to uh, the, the drain helps to uh, keep the water out of the tub during the spin cycle so it doesn't leave all soggy after the rinse or including if it does spin on this full speed that means it actually spins after the wash cycle is done and then moving on to its rinse cycle so as you can see while it spins you can see the water is actually uh, filling the air including if it travels this way because it has a breeze while it spins So I'll let you hear, well actually if you didn't hear, the uh, direct drive has when it stops spinning while the drain is kicking in. So every time when I press temperature, it actually stops spinning and then the drain, drain pump turns off. So, so here we go, let's let the spin stop now. So, yeah, this machine does have brakes to uh, slow the tub down quickly, so it's actually the safety reasons for the children not to touch the spinning tub while it spins. And, of course, the door is locked, because if it is locked, that means you can't open the door while the door is locked. So number eight right here is the uh, the uh, cold water on the dispenser. Maybe let it sit here or anything. Or if it has a steam test or anything. It actually sits here. Oh yeah, speaking of the uh, steam that I wanted to show you since if I try to show you something during the tub clean cycle. This is your exhaustment of the steam right here to exhaust the steam out of it. It'll steam the whole tub off of it. Alright, so we have no time for waiting for the steam, because I don't think that's the steam test. So, number nine, you got your another pause. Ten is your another pause. Eleven is another pause. And number twelve is exactly just like number ones and everything. Number one to seven. So again, drain does engage to uh, let the water out of it. So that's cold water on the dispenser, which is the detergent dispensers. And bleach dispenser, which is actually another, just the same temperature. Which is basically that's cold water actually. And hot water back to the dispenser, HE detergent dispenser actually. Alright, the uh, drain pump. So when the tub is empty, and then the recirculator still kicks in, that means there's no water going. There's no water on the recirculator. Oh yeah, it seems weird every time when the drain pump makes noise. Because, yeah. So... 
Here's your spin test again. Spin test on your direct drive motor. And I think the door is starting to uh, fog a little bit. Because of the hot water. If you guys have a seizure to watch this, do not watch this video. Because it'll be, it's get to be flashy during a spin with nothing in it. to the direct drive motor you, you'll hear how quiet this thing during the spin you can still see the uh, number is still flashing for the test your back of the washer. And you got your direct drive in here. Perfectly at the full speed, and I don't believe the water, I don't believe the uh, drain pump isn't kicking. Up oh, there it goes. Same thing when it fills the breeze during this bit of tub right here you can see that means it drains the water down properly on this. You can hear how quiet this machine was during the spin and the drain pump is still going which is a little bit noisy. here so that's the test on this machine so we're gonna go in and power it off indicator is flashing that means it waits for the door to unlock after you hear and click that means the door is unlocked so you got your door open freely right here because after if you use this machine then you have to leave the door open to uh, let the the whole thing dry so the boot doesn't so the boot doesn't get mold moisty and everything which is I know Someone says that on a video, which is I basically wanted to keep it open. 
So that's the idea for my family. Okay, so now we're done with the washing machine. And now that I wanted to give you something interesting that I never know something secret around the dryer. That means if you guys don't have the one with the dryer who has diagnostic mode, here's the thing. It actually just like working as washing machine, but not actually a whole base thing, or including. I wanted to show you something secretly on the dryer. If you guys haven't seen it before, then I'll show you. It does work around. Like it does the same thing. Like temperature spins soil three times, and it does indicate the whole thing. So temperature, dryness, wrinkle prevent. And of course, more time and less dry time button. That means you got your quick dry and time dry cycle. That means you got your manual dry settings, which is you got two things, including if you have a sensor one, you got your delicate wrinkle, wrinkle control, normal, bulky, towels, bites, heavy duty, and regular. And you got your whole indicator says eight. So temperature is the same thing, it's just like washer, then I just want to show you something. Including if you press buttons, it makes beeps. So some some other people think the control panel is off on this dryer. So it's still on during the diagnostic. Or including if I wanted to show you. Very interesting. <laughs> you got your extra power glowing towards like around the box and everything. Oh, I need a flashlight. Where is it? Hold on, let me turn the light on. There it is. That's the flashlight. So, anyways, about the dryer that I wanted to show you after something pretty secret it does work the same thing as washing machine has including if you press dryness it didn't that means you don't do another test on this dryer that means it only really runs one at a time so so here we go on this run Pressing start is you start the test on the dryer and then you can see ENC maybe it's just the code or anything and yeah ch check vents that means there's a heating element problem or there's the linting vents or including sucking lint off of it so you got your code on this one and when it's starting running you can see these uh, drums starting to turn to uh, tumble the clothes dryer, including there's the heating element. You can see heating element helps to uh, get the clothes moist to get rid of it, to get all dry, all clean and everything. You can see the heating element works all right, including if I wanted to show you when it's glowing, just like if I did on my other channel on my previous dryer video. Or including if I wanted to show you something. Uh, hold on. Here's the thing. Maybe my idea is... I'm gonna go ahead and I wanted to stop the dryer a little bit quicker. So, I accidentally just. So, I'm just gonna hold start and you'll see how basically heating element works when it turns orange. Hold on, there we go. Where's the start button? There we go. Then you'll hear how the noise it makes in the dryer. So, so maybe wait until the heating element is heating.
coming up until you can see it's turning orange and everything. So I think my finger is starting to have a mark on the spot. It actually bothers me sometimes. Alright. Here. This is your actual heating element. That means you can see if, if you see orange thing, that means it heats up the clothes during the dry cycle. So if you hear a click again, that means the uh, heating element is cooling down and then it will heat back up again once it is clicking. So yeah. This is your uh, dryer based heating. Which I didn't show anyone if I did the, my previous dryer, which is my Whirlpool. There goes the heating element turning off. So, yeah. So, that's just the heating element test right here. Oh yeah, maybe it's just beeping. That means that it'll let it cycle off. So, when you, when you are... Oh yeah, actually, if you wanted to uh, interrupt the cycle, then you can go ahead and shut it off. It'll cancel its cycle, so. And including if, uh, if I hear that noise after the heating element is actually heating up, you can hear the click noise, which is listen. Yep, you can hear it after, maybe the heating element is the one with the hot springs to heat it up, that means it's actually hot. So, alright, that's gonna be it, that's gonna be it from the uh, diagnostic mode on the washing machine, which is the Maytag washer and Maytag dryer. I'm just gonna leave it open until it cools off on this dryer. So, alright, that's it for right now. I'll catch you in another video of another cycle on this washing machine soon. So, alrighty, everybody. I hope this helps. So, have a good day. Stay washing.